So welcome everyone to our webinar. We're going to be talking about Holganic's Blue Sky today. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. For those of you that are new to GoToWebinar, um, you are all on mute at the moment because there are so many of you, it would be difficult to have everyone talking at once. So if you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the chat box or the question panel on your control panel. And we'll get to those at the end of the presentation. We've got a whole 15 minutes set aside for questions. And so, uh, you know, meet your hosts. On the left, we have Dr. Robert Niedermeyer. He's our Director of Plant and Soil Science. And on the Hi, right... Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Uh, welcome to the webinar. And uh, glad to have an opportunity to talk to you guys. Yeah, Dr. Bob, thanks for uh, spending time with us today. I really appreciate it. You're and welcome. then uh, on the right, um, that's me with some, some folks from Ewing, one of our distributors. So should we get started, Dr. Bob? Let's go. All right, so our agenda. The first part of our webinar today, we're going to be talking about why you slow release nitrogen. Now we're going to follow up with what is Blue Sky and when do you use Blue Sky. At the end, we'll have 15 minutes set aside for audience Q&A. So why use slow release fertilizers? Dr. Bob, can you speak to the slide a little? Yeah, I, well, first I want to point out that those uh, those two contestants are, are fouling, uh, it, especially that turtle. I can see his claw marks right over that white line. <laughs> That's a good observation there. I guess I should have found a better photo. <laughs> and so uh, one of the reasons why I love this, this photo, Dr. Bob, is because if you think of slow-release fertilizer, it's like the turtle, and fast-release is kind of like the hare. And um, when you use slow release fertilizer, correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of them actually have a, a core component of them is slow release fertilizer, but part of it is fast release. So you have a little bit of both. That's correct. And uh, uh, actually, you need to do that because, uh, first of all, uh, so the fast release component is, is urea, and uh, urea uh, is subject to uh, monification. It can uh, vol volatilize and and not be available but also urea is the plant is a plant available form of uh, nitrogen and uh, as such it's available immediately when you when you apply it to the soil so that's the good thing about having the rabbit in the bag and that is that you're going to get a green effect uh, right after application and then the reason for the turtle is to prevent a, 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 a you know volatilization and also to prevent leaching so the the nitrite in the soil is subject to uh, leaching it's water soluble and so when it rains it's not going to volatilize but just as bad it's going to wash wash or drain out of your soil and not be available so by using slow release components they will neither volatilize or leach and the, and therefore the slow release portion will be available uh, throughout the uh, the summer until it's depleted by the plants. Cool. So instead of having the tortoise or the hare, we get both. Correct. Nice. And so if we look at Holganics Blue Sky, Holganics Blue Sky, the components, the key components within the product, it's 60% slow release. So that's where your tortoise comes in. 40% quick release. That's where your hare comes in. And then biological food sources which support that soil food web. And so for those of you guys that don't remember the soil food web uh, from, from middle school, it's kind of the uh, big guys eat the smaller guys, who eat the smaller guys, who eat the smaller guys, and it all contributes to a healthy soil ecosystem and a healthy plant. And so as we're feeding into the soil food web with those biological food sources, we're strengthening the soil ecosystem and the plant in an indirect but proactive way. So we're proactively defending the plant against disease, insect, so on and so forth. We're helping it un, you know, boost immunity of, um, or rather not immunity, but boost its ability to overcome stresses like the weather, that we have this hot summer coming on, or traffic. And uh, we're building those root systems. Dr. Bob, can you speak a little bit to this? 
Sure. I think you see those uh, brown arrows. Every one of those brown arrows represents a point where a larger organism is eating a smaller organism. And in every one of those cases, that's an exchange of energy and uh, nutrients. So the energy is in the form of uh, organic compounds, carbon-containing compounds. And the uh, nutrients are the N, the P, and the K, and also some uh, minor uh, nutrients. And um, so every arrow represents an exchange on up the food chain. But every time any of those organisms die, uh, they are contributing that energy back to the soil and those nutrients back to the soil and making it available to the plants. And also, whenever any of those animals create uh, waste material, that's also a contribution back back to the uh, plants uh, and or the other organisms in the soil. And uh, so so the interesting thing is it, it's it's just a constant uh, interrelationship and what's not and also what's not pointed out on this chart is that exchange of energy, but the individual contribution that those uh, organisms and, and larger celled uh, creatures make and that is they they have effects on the soil like uh, fungi can be uh, mycorrhizae and contribute to the plants and uh, bacteria can be uh, plant growth promoting bacteria and contribute to plant growth or they could be um, contributing uh, uh, auxins and, and things like that uh, and the larger organisms could be uh, helping with the soil structure like uh, like the worms do what might do and, and etc so uh, it's a very complex relationship this uh, soil food web and uh, organics likes to consider itself a player because all our products are either pr producing or adding uh, biology but uh, and some are adding nutrients to the soil yeah, so with our normal organics products, it's our liquid products like lawn and golf, tree and shrub and bloom, they contain living microorganisms, beneficial microorganisms that are contributing to the soil food web. And if you look at, um, they also have the plant, the food sources for those microorganisms in the jug. But with Blue Sky, what we're doing to help the soil food web is we're adding the food sources only. And so you have the slow, quick release nitrogen, and you have the biological food sources. Correct. So if we look at those components again, we have the fertile, the nitrogen sources, which are urea, triazone, and methylene urea, and then those biological food sources in blue. Dr. Bob, can you speak a little bit about this slide? Okay, so on the green, that's the uh, nutrients and we have three forms of nitrogen. One is urea, that's a fertilizer uh, that you're used to uh, or familiar with. Uh, it's the, it's the uh, quick release material, the stuff that's available immediately and is subject to a volatilization. And then you have the uh, slow release ingredients, the triazone and the methylene urea. Uh, the triazone is a cyclical kind of uh, molecule that's turned around on itself and all the carbon atoms in the molecule are linked one to the other. And so, uh, and then it has uh, uh, urea uh, branches on it that can be broken off, and but it's subject to a slow biological uh, response breaking off that nitrogen. And then there's the methylene urea, which is a long chain of uh, carbon to carbon, like if you just laid a pencil down and then off of it again you would see uh, uh, urea molecules, and these uh, the urea can't get released until each until chain is broken down, just a step at a time, and so that that's available throughout the whole uh, period uh, of the summer. Uh, every time the chain is broken, a molecule at a time, uh, some nitrogen is released, and then uh, we're just pointing out here what the uh, uh, food sources are and the other organic. Uh, soil uh, amendments are that are in the uh, blue sky. So some food is the, uh, uh, the high fructose corn syrup and the uh, molasses, those are sugars, and the brewer's yeast, uh, which is a, the spent uh, yeast after it was uh, used in the brewing process. These are all food sources that microorganisms can uh, can live on and then subsequently be 
consumed on up the chain as the microorganisms are con consumed. Uh, the echoage extract and the humic fulvic acid and the amino acids are all uh, uh, soil uh, amendments that are uh, useful to the biology of the soil and the unique thing about the amino acid is every amino acid molecule has nitrogen in it and so it's also a, a nitrogen or a nutrient source. Very cool. You get a lot of ingredients in that jug, that's for sure. And, and then this is our guarantee, the guaranteed analysis that you'll see on the product label. Uh, again, it's 21% nitrogen. And then 8% uh, of that 21% is uh, uh, urea, so that's available immediately. And then 12.6% of that 21% is the uh, slow-release triazone and uh, methylene urea. So uh, the 8.4 represents 40% of the total 21, and the 12.6 is the 60% uh, of the total 21. Awesome. And so what are the benefits? As we're talking to uh, prospects, if you're a distributor rep, or if you're looking at Holganics yourself, what are the benefits you're going to get out of using? or using Holganics Blue Sky. So some of my favorites are the fact that it provides quick green up with less surge growth. Um, so that's dovetailing into that quick release um, and the slow release component. It extends the length of results. You're feeding the living beneficial microorganisms in the soil. Um, it reduces burn potential during the summer months because of that slow release component. And it's a great partner to Holganics. So if you're using our liquid products like the lawn or the golf to in shrub or bloom, Blue Sky is, an, is a really great partner for those other products because the, um, the Blue Sky has these food sources for the living microorganisms within Holganics itself, plus all the nitrogen. It's really a win-win-win. And a, uh, another way to look at that extends the length of results is that with the slow release, you're going to have nitrogen through the hot period of the summer and whenever you get rain or whenever you're watering that lawn there's going to be nitrogen there to get a green response from. And really I guess that's our main result huh Dr. Bob it's just having beautiful green healthy turf in the that's summer correct. all year round. That's correct. And so these are just a couple pictures that some of our sales guys sent in to me when they heard about this webinar. This one's in Texas. So this is Holganics Blue Sky and Holganics Lawn together. And then the reason why I just love this picture and I had to pick it out is because you can clearly see the neighbor's lawn and the clear distinction between the color tones. I mean, if that doesn't paint a picture, I don't know what will. And then this one's a little blurry, but this is from Champions Club at Julington Creek. Um, in Florida, the superintendent, Andy Jackson, is a big user of Holganics Blue Sky. And so, you know, just to sum it up, you know, where do you use Holganics Blue Sky? So you can use it in place of your quick release fertilizers if that's your thing. If you do like your quick release fertilizers, you can switch back and forth during the summer months where it gets a little hot and uh, you have the potential for burning. And then in conjunction with Holganics liquid products. So just speaking to that partnership again about how, if we go to the next slide, Blue Sky is a prebiotic because of the, it contains biological food sources. It contains those food sources that support the living microorganisms. And then Holganics, which does contain biological food sources, is extremely probiotic heavy, which means it contains these living beneficial microorganisms. So as you're combining the Blue Sky with our other Holganics liquid products, you have the prebiotic and a heavy probiotic. You really have some magic happening. And so at this point, we'll move into questions. Do any of you guys have any questions for us? Hold on one second. I think we have a question here. All right, so with Blue Sky, do we cut the rate of Holganics? And so Dr. Bob, we do not, that's correct, right? No, we should not cut the rate of organics. Remember, there in the organics soil amendment products, there there is not any nitrogen in these products, and uh, so if you are cutting them, you're reducing the counts of the uh, microorganisms that you're going to be applying to the soil. 
and that's again that's counter to our objective. So uh, what we recommend with organics is two rates. One is 14 ounces per thousand square feet, and this is for turf. And one is uh, seven fluid ounces uh, organics per thousand square feet. And uh, the 14 fluid ounces is recommended for the first time you've ever applied organics to that site. And okay, the seven fluid ounces for the subsequent applic applications. Okay, so 14 ounces is how we start, follow up with seven ounces. Or yes. more, but a minimum of seven ounces. Yes. As always, you should definitely talk to your organics rep because um, they're going to help you, guide you into the program that fits your location. But those are just standard overviews. So, is this refrigerated? No, Holganix Blue Sky doesn't contain any living microorganisms in it. It's only the prebiotics of the biological food sources and the nitrogen sources. So, um, it does not need to be refrigerated. And then, watering in instructions and tank mixing. Can you speak to that a little bit, Dr. Bob? Yeah, so uh, again, 8% of the 21% or 40% of the total nitrogen that's in that product is uh, subject to volatility. That's the uh, urea portion of the product. Um, it should be, you should soak that in after application unless you anticipate a, a rain immediately after. Because again, you're generally going to be applying this to fairly dry soil in the hot summer months and uh, volatilization will be a problem. So I strongly recommend that uh, with Organics 21, you know, the blue sky, that you, uh, that you water it in. Just as a conclusion, guys, as you leave the webinar, a survey is going to pop up. Please take the survey. It allows us to continue to increase and improve our, survey, or our webinars, rather. So please take the survey. They help me a lot. And then uh, look for a follow-up email in your inbox tomorrow with the recorded version of the webinar and any resources and, and information mentioned during the webinar. And so if you have any additional questions, you know, definitely use your Holganix sales rep as a, as a resource, but don't hesitate to use us as well. Um, Dr. Bob can be reached at that email and that's his, or I guess I didn't include your extension, Dr. Bob, I'm sorry. So call that number and ask to be connected to Dr. Bob. And then um, that's my contact information as well. So, um, and uh, you know, just to emphasize the point, we enjoy uh, uh, hearing from the guys in the field. It helps uh, it helps uh, invigorate our own enthusiasm. So don't hesitate to call. Yeah, definitely. All right, guys, thank you so much for uh, spending time with us today. It was awesome getting to discuss Organics Blue Sky with you. Uh, enjoy your summers and, uh, you know, reach out if you have any questions. We're here to help. Okay, good deal. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.